Welcome back everyone to the Rule the Waves 2 Succession series with The Historical Gamer, Benjamin Magnus Games, or Gaming, and XTRG, That Random Guy, and myself, Tortuga Power. We're in the middle of a fleet battle here. Um, it looks like I have forgot to update to 1.14, which is now out. Um, this battle has gone okay for us, and by okay I mean we're so far really far ahead. We have almost surely sunk an enemy battle cruiser, which is not recording itself as being sunk, but maybe they patched that, hopefully. And in other words, I mean, in other news, we've lost a lot of destroyers, sunk a few destroyers, maybe not sunk a few destroyers, maybe just lost them. But uh, again, the ratio, victory point ratio of like one battle cruiser for one destroyer, or even just the cost, the cost to build them. It's probably something like 20 to 1, so we're okay as long as we don't lose 20, 20 destroyers. Which, I mean, at some point it's going to be very bad that we don't have any destroyers left, and we'll just, but at that point they won't have any big ships left. Our striking torpedo bombers have been a bit of a disappointment. Um, they have not really done anything, in fact. In fact, they, I can say, not that they haven't really, they have exactly done nothing. Speaking of, finally, these guys are getting their ass over to the target, the Nancy class. Um, we're still trying to save the Oak Chekhov and the Navarin here. They're uh, <laughs> trying to make their way back to port. We do have the advantage that they can fire their rear guns, super firing uh, rear guns, so... We don't know if they are launching torpedoes now. The Verney is taking some hits. She was kind of doomed from the beginning. She has no torpedoes. She's very slow. Um, we're just trying to use her as a as basically a means. She's her captain is very very bravely sacrificing his ship for the cause. She's gonna absorb hits, and hopefully might even let these guys flee as well. One of them is still able to go full speed. We, well, you know what? We probably should just attach the Zavucci. She's the one with the torpedoes too. Okay, so let's let's do it. Attach you. Get you to go flank speed the heck out of here, since we do want to save some destroyers. We'll grab the other one and march them on over towards the o Ochikov. Okay, the Verney is almost sinking, but there is still hope here, by the way. Not for the Verney, of course, but she's going to continue to absorb hits, and we're going to try to launch a torpedo attack soon enough. See, the Navarin's actually useless to do anything but retreat. She's missing her forward gun. Okay, so you are the slow one. Yeah, just keep heading towards the Och uh, Ochikov. Our carrier has to get the hell out of here. And is is doing so. We are launching some long-range torpedoes. And um, also at the same time, deploying smoke to try to increase our chances of survival. What do you know? Oh my gosh, from downtown! I use that expression a lot. I hope that people are familiar with it. It's, as far as I know, it's from, <laughs> I mean, it's a basketball thing when you're shooting from very, you know, trying to shoot the basketball, make it in the hoop from very, very, very far away. Anyways, that is an amazing hit because this is a very old ship. I don't suspect that it has torpedo protection and if it does, it at most has torpedo protection one. We can probably guess what it has. It has 12, 13 inch guns. That's pretty heavy. Pretty light armor. No, actually two and a half inches of deck. Turrets are at nine. Two submerged, I'm, wow, with 24 five inch guns, I think that this thing probably does not have torpedo defense. I'm trying to guess if it has the space for it. Space would be about 800 tons. It's very hard to just <laughs> back of the hand, you know, calculation or what is the back of the envelope, what do they call it? Just trying to pull this out of my, pull it out of thin air, a calculation for its weight. But that, I mean, it's it's definitely believable that, especially what's the speed on it? 
Yeah, I, I just highly doubt that actually has even the, <clears throat> the capability of having... So I wouldn't launch all our torpedoes all in a row like this. Um, because it, it does kind of mean that it, like, one turn and they, all of them miss. May get lucky here, though. Oh my gosh, we're, we, could we? Oh! Oh, it's so beautiful! This is the proper angle for torpedo launching. Still have two torpedoes left. Zero torpedoes. Okay, Ochkov, just keep retreating. Navarin, begin your complete retreat profile. <laughs> Narrow that profile up. So both of these have taken a single torpedo, which I'm not expecting that will sink them. It will hopefully discourage their pursuit. And I mean, if in the best case scenario, it'll cause us to be able to sink them through other means. What those means are, I don't quite know. Darkness is coming at some point which we would welcome at this point. We've we've pretty much won the battle. As long as we can make it back to port. So I, I'm moving north, but I actually have to remember that <laughs> the sun is gonna set from the southwest to the north, I'm sorry, southeast to the northwest. So moving north is actually delaying the time that daylight, <laughs> that sunset reaches us. It's kind of a funny thing. So we will end up, wait, you have torpedoes. Okay, we're, we're going to move you back into the fight. And we still have a couple torpedoes here. Um, the dangerous thing, of course, is that they have their destroyers nearby. So if we try to get too aggressive here, we could end up just eating a torpedo ourselves. In fact, I'm extremely happy so far that they haven't decided to go after the Ochakov. Ochakov. Probably the Ochakov. We could probably use a few destroyers closer to the Navarin just to protect us. Um, although the Boyke and the Magnum have just been done fantastic. We'll have to let Ben know that the namesake of his Magnu class has delivered magnificently. And look at this Dunkirk going very slow. So a turret hit, but these Navarin, I mean, these are um, not extremely heavily armed, but THG did a very good job of, uh, of making sure the turret armor was high. That to me is extremely important. You know, this is actually a really good armor. I really like the armor configuration of this. Okay, and it's almost darkness. Uh, with the Ochikov just barely hanging in there. Oh god, she's... So what is their move going to be? And our torpedo bombers are coming back right over the target, maybe? Will they take the time to attack? I don't think so. Yeah, they are not, unfortunately. Keep heading north then. Here comes our light cruiser just in time to hopefully smother out the remaining, if any. I mean, there are some remaining destroyers here. Cut across. We can launch a, a torpedo in defense as well. So nighttime is really going to save us. I wish I could say that I had planned this exactly. I have not. I think it's probably a fair time to launch this torpedo though. Want something higher than 70? Okay, 74 looks like the best we're gonna get. Because I suspect that they're gonna turn around, so I don't think that that's a terribly good angle. We actually ended up hitting this thing as well. We'll deploy smoke. And this is a nice slow finish, but I feel like this is an appropriate pace right now. We're just trying to make sure that we get everyone home. And by everyone, I mean, well, everyone except for 
six destroyers. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Yeah, so... Pull on out of here. You're useful against uh, destroyers, but not against battlecruisers. Just want to make sure, confirm this has zero torpedoes. Zero torpedoes. Two torpedoes. So let's keep this one nearby. Drop her down to 30. Keep her nearby. Get that one out of here, of course. You also have... Holy cow. Destroy me. What are you doing to me, buddy? Full torpedo complement. I'm not going to deploy him yet. I'm going to leave him. Kind of see what happens. Um, eight 13 inch guns. This is not too heavily. It only has one forward firing. Okay, we're going to roll the dice here. And we're going to try to pit the Navarin against the Leon. We have two torpedoes in this, which I'm going to save for now. Cut back this way. So as soon as we're in range, which we aren't yet, just waggle that tail a bit more. We're gonna leave this one as a defense of the Ochikov. If if we need them in a hurry. Okay, so they are turning away. That's fine. I, I mean, I it would have been nice to launch torpedoes. You know, get a little bit of. In fact, who's my other one? Boyke, you have two torpedoes? Yes. All right, we have a, a pair of destroyers, which, again, this is high risk, high reward. High risk, high reward. Well, moderate risk, high reward, I guess. Um, if we can manage to get in range with them in the very, very, very poor visibility, it's probably going to be a hit. And we probably risk losing, or almost certainly risk losing, our destroyers. However, we also... Oh. Okay, well, I guess if you're going through hell, keep going. By the way, Navarin, don't go here. Uh, let me just send this destroyer, which has no torpedoes left, to finish off the submarine. I think that they're forced to submerge or something. I don't know the exact mechanic, but it seems like you can't run into the same thing twice. And we're going to just see what, whoops, if we can't get lucky. Ochikov is doing well. Send her to port. Send everyone to port now. We're probably okay just to make the run. Oops. I don't know how that happened. And now we'll just pay a small amount of attention to... Now the Zavucci is so slow that she won't be able to get out of there. I'm just going to let her run to port. She'll be the, the trailer. The last uh, destroyer in. Okay, we're gonna speed it up to normal speed. This is the one that we wanted to guard. The we'll have this one guard. In fact, we'll put this one on AI control to guard the Ochikov. Ochikov. Again, I'm just really not exactly sure how that should be said, but forgive me. Support. Okay, go do your thing, just support her. And now let's just have some fun trying to scout. Yes. Yes, indeed. Okay, I don't want to engage from this angle, but we know where they are. Let's line up. Tip tap on the Morse code. Bring her on in. Okay, something like this. Got him. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. No, stop, stop, stop! Okay. Why low? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Get the hell out of here! We've done it! We've done it! Oh, we've done it! We've done it! <laughs>
We've done it. And this is why you leave a few destroyers. Oh, that was... Okay, look it. I can't claim that was 100% skill. But there was a tactical decision which we made, and it paid off in a huge way. It doesn't always. But it did this time, and wow! We picked up a battle cruiser for free. And that is the... You know, that whole... The whole flow of it. It's just so interesting to see to me. Like, when when a plan of mine actually comes together. It, I mean, it's so gratifying, first of all. So gratifying. And the fact that we got zero losses out of it. I was prepared to lose two destroyers for nothing. And there will be... Probably 80% of the time, I will lose two destroyers for nothing. But that, right there, is the reason why you take the risk. No! <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Oh, lordy, we're going to have a... <sighs> this is so painful. Oh, my God, it's so painful. One of these ships took... Okay, three torpedoes? Oh, the Nancy got out. That's actually funny. That means that we sunk the Lyon was the last one. This is the one that must have been hit like at the very, very end of the fight. And sank. <laughs> Holy cow. That means if we hadn't... I can't believe this. By the way, I cannot believe. I cannot believe that this Nancy did not die. I am going to look up this... I mean, I can always pause the recording, bring up the folder, look at this design itself. I can see if they have torpedo defense. I probably will do that. I cannot imagine how a ship which took seven heavy hits, three torpedoes, three medium hits, 17 light, light hits, whatever. These are penetrations though, right? I think. Critical hit. Torpedo critical hit. And these were pretty evenly spaced torpedoes, which I feel like is even more dangerous. I cannot believe a, a, this ship took three torpedoes and survived. Yeah, and took a critical hit with the 15-inch shells. Well, look, at this is what happens. And somebody, I think, called this. Sevi, was it, in the last one? <laughs> I bet she survives. Unbelievable. I'm gonna look it up. Okay. Well let's let's I mean and let's let's dive into this. Let's figure out I okay, first of all, the repulse was it the repulse? I think it was the repulse in the Mediterranean, one of those R battleships of the British that took three torpedoes and just immediately sank. Those were submarine torpedoes, so they are equivalent to destroyer torpedoes. I don't know. I'm very, I'm, I'm very, very surprised. We've had ships survive with three torpedoes, and I've been happy that that happened. But, um, yeah. Let's figure out what this Toulouse has. I'll bring it up. Um, but we'll do that in a moment. It's just Let's enjoy the victory. It's still a victory, right? Still could have been much better. Two prestige points. Should have been two battle cruisers, in my opinion. In my strong opinion, should have been two battle cruisers. Not not just like I'm weighing the math of torpedo damage or whatever, but also just experientially. Three torpedoes in this game is usually a kill. So let me pause and bring up the numbers. Well, I think it speaks for itself. It's okay that it survived. I was not. I'm not happy. I'm certainly not happy. And we should have gone back and I just didn't really think about it. It has torpedo defense too. So I think that that can survive two, three hits. I I take back my my complaint. So. So that means that we should. Uh, this is very funny how we are blockading them one turn and then they are blockading us the next turn. It's just this funny little trade off. Um, probably they're blockading us now because we're our ships are no longer on foreign stations. Did we get that one back? He needs three more turns. Okay, fair enough. Um. Can we move these guys? Are they short range? They're not. How many do I need? What are we missing over there? Uh, what do we need in Southeast Asia? What's our requirements? Uh -huh. Okay. 
Okay, I guess none. Well, then we'll put it on an active fleet so that we don't get blockaded anymore. Yeah, you don't need foreign station requirements during war, right? Or do you? Yeah, force requirement is zero. I think it's, I think it goes to zero during war. I'm never 100% sure on the mechanics of this game. <laughs> Having played it for like a thousand hours, <laughs> that's surprising, but I'm still not exactly sure. Okay, fair enough. Let's go ahead and push forward then. Um, what is, oh, there's something maybe I wanted to do. Let's take a look at aircraft types. What do we have here? We need a new torpedo bomber. The newest one was 1923. It's pretty recent. Yeah, I can carry a torpedo at a range of 94, which is not amazing. We might request a fighter then. I don't really care about float plane scouts, flying boats. Those are, so, I mean, we certainly need new ones of those eventually, but uh, in these battles, I think the thing which is gonna most impact uh, everything is gonna be fighters. And I think we'll go with, do we wanna go with speed first and reliability or firepower or maneuverability? I'm thinking cap here. So I think firepower, let's do that. It went in right. Good. Uh, air groups. We haven't. I haven't looked at this. Apparently, we have no air groups. Absolutely no air groups except for. So what? Do we not have bases? What's our base here? Base capacity of 50. I can probably go over to air overview. No, that's area base overview. Sorry. Air capacity. We have none. Okay. Wow. We only have airships. Well, this this simply must change. I think that. Labau would be a fantastic area. This would just control so much for us. Let's go to Labau and expand the airfield. It's really going to be helpful. I mean, if we were to take East Prussia, value 12, I think you can take it. Um, but if we were to take East Prussia, then we'd be in good shape. But holding for now, Riga, this Labau area, the Labau airfield will be very helpful. There's a lot of battles in this area, as we've already seen. So let's build that airbase up. Otherwise, I don't suspect that we're going to use... I mean, the Sing Tao one might be useful. I don't think we're going to... Like, a lot of the battles happen in this area, and Sing Tao might be able to hit, but might not. So I'm going to leave these unoccupied. I do, I'm, it costs more, I think, to do airfields airfields and when they're naval air stations which means they're not your home stations is this isn't considered home either though is it which i probably could find out <clears> hmm <throat> well i think i think it's still worthwhile to do we have a lot of money as well probably because we're losing so many destroyers well you know it's time for a new destroyer it's time for a new everything right but what are we building right now we're building a ton of these nez neznik Corvettes, which is good. Those are necessary. Um, I think the next thing we have to do is build... I mean, let's build some destroyers. We don't need them quite yet, though. They're not going to... I mean, basically, the problem is they're not going to arrive before the war's end. Submarines. I want submarines, too. But also the same problem. They're not going to arrive until war's end. So, honestly, if we want to do something with our money right now, it should be getting things out which are going to arrive in time. These don't take that long. I guess we're going to build some more of these Corvettes, which is really nice. So you have trade production that also count for foreign, foreign tonnage. Okay, that's the last I think we're going to build of those. And I think, look, I'm always, if you have too many Corvettes, they're, it's better to have uh, too many lower ships than higher ships. We're going to deal with the submarines at least. Our submarine is sank a French ship. Okay, coastal raid, decline that. Uh, we're ahead now, right? No, we're just barely behind. Oh my god, we're still behind. Raid on enemy shipping, I don't want. And we're still blockaded, darn it. So that means that we are losing BPs. Okay, well, what's the deal here, people? How do we, should we set up an invasion of something against the French? We have what? Like, no, uh, I don't think we have, 
enough of anything. So we do have some Magnus in Northeast Asia. I really wish they weren't here. I want to bring them back. <laughs> the problem is we can't move any of the charcoal cheetahs, which are honestly in the wrong area. And we need those still for trade protection. Okay, fair enough. You guys are both in Northern Europe. Ideally, I don't want these in Northern Europe. Maybe one or... I, I, I guess the light carriers are fine for cap. Gives us basically air defense for our fleets. Um, we definitely need more cruisers. We have like a total of six cruisers. I think it's going to be very hard. Every person's going to want to build... Like THG, he's going to want to build the big ships, right? And he did pass on a very good budget for me to try to mop up um, the other parts of the fleet that were that were missing, like you know, cruisers, destroyers, <laughs> just cruisers and destroyers, nothing else. <laughs> ah, is there anything else I can do? Don't think so. An improved model, well, we could use it, and it is improved by firepower. That's it. Poor reliability. Fair enough. Okay, cruiser engagement will accept. Three destroy. Okay, that's fine. Attack enemy ships near the objective. I don't know how you're. Oh god. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the hell? Oh my god. So, do not launch planes. Do not pass. Go, do not collect $200. Oh, the Stroini, the victory, the hero of the previous battle. Squad Max. We're almost in torpedo range. Let's be very care, very careful here. We do need to buy enough time for our um, carrier to get out of the way. I will just because, you know, maybe if we're lucky, we have a chance. I will prep our torpedo bombers. Okay, let's see what we do here. Who are you trying to escort? Ha! <laughs> well, you're being commandeered over to this line instead. We'll just wish the best of luck. Yeah, it's gonna be nighttime soon. This carrier's just gonna make all speed to the south. Okay, here we go. So I think the main battle line here. Ooh, we're taking some hits early. Let's just get that angling. Get that angling. Take control of you. I don't. I know. I know. We don't want to spend forever taking control of ships all the time, but we have an opportunity here. They're going to trail us um, to launch some torpedoes. Oh my God! We are the, just taking hits. The French ships appear to be superior to ours. Oh, it's the Nancy again, huh? We're sick of your kind. I do want to save our torpedoes. I don't want my two ships right on top of each other either. Can't tell who's the slower one. Max speed of 24. You have a max speed of 25. So why don't you go on the inside a little bit? Something like this, so I can at least see you two. <laughs> But we don't care if we only fire our rear guns. And we're happy if they only fire their forward guns. Well, I guess that doesn't work out as well. We both fire <laughs> two guns. They fire their two guns forward. We fire our two guns back. So we're fighting strength against strength right now. Oh, God, it reattached. That's going to be a problem. Good. Okay, down to 23. Oh, we actually hit one of their destroyers, which is good. Hmm. Well, it's suicidal, but just gonna do it. We're going into the wind already, so we're going the right way. See what happens. <laughs> we get lucky. I tried to lead the target. 
Okay, let's bring our destroyer in now. Maximum speed, let's go ahead and do this. Should be encountering her anytime now. <laughs> All right, here we go. They identified me very quickly. Let's see if we get any hits. No. Okay, but it was worth it. I think that was the proper play. Again, we've seen how effective that can be. Um, we'll just wait for this to tick out. I don't think we need to launch those ships anymore. So, we'll speed this up. Maybe we'll drive them into one of our submarines or something. What? Okay. Oh my god! <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh my god, yes! Wait. No, 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 no. Go back. Go back. We're going in. We're going in. Over the radio, they've tore, tore, tore. We have hits. Proceed back immediately. Engage. Oh, we got him. We got him. We're here. Okay, this is going to be dangerous. Let's see, who do we have? We can also, like, uh, at least cause them to have additional flooding. Oh, Lord. Oh, God. Oh, God, help me. I'm screwed. Go in! I don't know if these are actual... What? Dodge! I don't know what these are! <laughs> I think they are actually, maybe... AVs! We want... Okay, we're gonna keep an eye on this. Keep an eye on that. Okay. Well, Chikov, we need you to pull off the line. Okay, how do we get you to safety? How do you solve a problem like Marine? Okay, let's get them over here. This is aggressive. I know this is very aggressive. But we are just laying into this one. Oh, yes! Come on, we could do it. We can do it. It's only one torpedo. We've seen them survive three. We're not worried, right? God, if we only had it, we do have torpedoes. We have torpedoes on our, yeah. Okay, let's slow you way down, Ochikov. You have zero torpedoes. Okay, then just scout for us over here. Make sure we're not going to run into anything. Yeah, exactly. What? What? the hell is even going on? Like, what the hell is going on? What? Can you launch torpedoes? Okay, launch, 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 launch. Can't miss. Please don't miss. Oh my god, we're going to do this. <laughs> this is so awesome. <laughs> keep keep going after him. Do not give up. Never give up. Never surrender. 
Identify what this one is for me. Is that a battle cruiser? If it's just a destroyer, I don't care. I wanted the Ochakov to make sure we sink whatever these were. Okay, go again. I just want to know what this is. Whoa, 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 whoa. Just one turn at a time, please. Okay, that is a uh, whatever destroyer or something like that. Okay, Ochakov, you can go over here. Yeah, you've controlled your flooding. Oh, we're in good shape. We're going to do it. And stay on my eastern flank. I want to know if they're coming. And I want to know when they're coming, if they are. Sink. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. We did it. <laughs> Woohoo! I feel like the people from Star Wars right after they blew up the Death Star. And that, my friends, is that. Well, it has been a very triumphant day for the... You know, THG called himself Lord Nelson. I don't feel like either of us can really live up to that kind of claim, but right now, I feel like on top of the world. I feel like we've played extremely well. We've gone into both of these battles at least outnumbered. And pulled away both of them with victory. Sinking it, I mean, yeah. I mean, just, just wow. I feel really good. I feel very good. Whew. All right, let's get this guy to stop deploying smoke, slow down to 20, and continue to scout for the Ochakov. Let's not throw away, you know, let's not let pride get in the way now. We're not that far away. You can go up and make sure these guys in the end did sink. I think they did. Okay, good. Let's bring this guy south. Um, how are you doing? You're doing fine. You didn't take any hits. It's daytime. Spirit is broken. Oh god. It wasn't a battle cruiser. Oh god, it wasn't a battle cruiser. Ah they got away again. Oh no. Man, I, I don't, I'm not going to be too upset about it. We did, I think we played everything correctly. The night launch obviously has been vindicated. Um, so I don't know what it is that we ended up torpedoing one time. Wait. There was two AVs. And then there was, we hit the thing which was stopped, which was supposedly a battle cruiser. We hit it with a torpedo. Oh, this. No, but th there was two AVs and two, just that one didn't take a torpedo. That means that we had to have misidentified a destroyer as a battle cruiser from point blank. don't exactly understand, but I don't understand. I can't really piece this all together. Well, we can look on the map and we should be able to figure it out from there. It's still a victory, it's just kind of a heartbreaking one. <laughs> no, we can't piece it together. Where did they end up? Oh wow, we actually ended up almost tangling. Uh, but the Toulouse, that was the one that took a lot of damage. Huh. Alright, well, I... I guess I have to take back 
what I said. It wasn't that great of a victory after all. Um, shucks. Well, I mean, hey, it's still a great victory. We didn't lose anything. We took out two AVs, two um, seaplane tender or scout, whatever they're called. Seaplane tenders, right? You are a seaplane tender, is that right? Seaplane carrier. Yeah, we took out two seaplane carriers, which is not that big of a deal. And then we also took out two destroyers. It's a minor victory, but I can't deal with this roller coaster of emotions, so I need to wrap this video up here. It's time anyway. Um, feeling a lot better, though. I feel like we're getting our sea legs under us. Finally starting to perform a little bit better. Cherapaka's probably... I mean, he is me. I am extremely disappointed that it, we didn't end up sinking more battlecruisers so far. But uh, I'm sure that that should only be uh, another month or two off before we finally have our, our big victory. Until then, thanks for watching and take care.